Hi everybody. Okay, this is a video on fractions. So, whoops, okay. So fractions are, look like this. Four over seven is how we would say that fraction. So we would say it as four over seven. That's how we would say that. Um, we would refer to four as the numerator numerator and the number seven on the bottom we would refer to as the denominator tour or top number or bottom number <laughs> okay and this guy is uh also indicates division okay so there's different kinds of fractions um two types come to mind we have an improper fraction, and that's when the top, the top number is bigger than the bottom number. So the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So an example would be 20 over 3. See how that number is bigger? So we call that an improper fraction, and we are totally okay with improper fractions. Then mixed numbers are when you take your improper fraction and you can turn them into a mixed number. So for example, how many times does three go into 20? I wanna say six times, because <clears throat> six times three would be 18, leaving two left over, and three was our denominator. So this would be a, a mixed number. It gives you like how many whole parts you have, like six holes, and then two thirds. So we're actually not going to use mixed numbers this year, though. So yeah, we're, we're going to use improper fractions. We're not going to use these. Okay, so the operations that you want to learn this year for mixed number or for fractions are how to reduce a fraction, how to add and subtract fractions, and how to multiply fractions. Those are your three main things. We're rarely going to divide, but sometimes. Okay, so how do we reduce fractions? So to reduce fractions, um, we have a fraction like, for example, 4 over 20. We want to reduce it to the lowest, lowest terms it can be in. So the smallest the fraction can go. So we actually look at the numerator and the denominator and we see what factors it has in common. So, or what is it both, what are both the top and bottom divisible by? So in this case, they're both divisible by 2. Um, we check and see if there's anything else. They're both divisible by 4. So you're always looking for the biggest number that they're divisible by. So since these are both divisible by 4, I'm going to divide them both by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 20 divided by four is five. So this is what we would call a fraction in lowest terms. And that's how we always want our fractions. So now the only thing that it's divisible by is one. That's it. Okay, next question. Let's say we have, um, we wanna add or subtract fractions. So let's say we have 3 over 4 plus a half. Just do an easy one. So anytime you're adding and subtracting fractions, the denominators, these guys, have to be the same. So the denominators must be the same. So how can we turn <clears throat> them into the same number? So the easiest thing is to look and see if you can multiply or divide them by something. So it looks like we can actually multiply the whole second fraction by two. So as long as you do it to the bottom and the top, that's fine. It's like the opposite of reducing. So we leave the three over four. And then the next one, uh, one times two is two. Two times two is four. So now they are the same. So we did it. We got the denominators to be the same. And now we just add the numerators. So three plus two is five. 
and we leave the denominator the same, four. And that's how you add. Um, I'm gonna do a subtracting example too, but you can fast forward if you're good. Because subtracting works the same way. So let's say we had six over, uh, ooh. actually, no, let's not do six. Let's do like four over five minus um, a half again. Okay, so this one's not as easy. So how do we make the five and the two the same number? I don't think we can just change one of them. So we're actually gonna have to change both. So I'm thinking if I multiply this whole fraction by five, that will make the denominator 10. So then if I multiply this whole fraction by two, the denominator will also be 10. So that will turn my answer into, or sorry, my question into eight over 10 minus five over 10. Now our denominators are the same. Same denominators. So now we just subtract the numerators. So eight minus five is three. And we leave the denominator the same. Done. So that's how you add and subtract. Okay, and here's how you multiply. So let's say we had four over five times three over two. So we wanna multiply these two fractions together. So if you're multiplying fractions, all you're doing is you're multiplying straight across. So four times three is 12 and five times two is 10. And it's just like that. You don't have to have the same denominator. And then you wanna always reduce your fractions to lowest terms. Let's make it a heart. So I noticed that 12 over 10, first of all, it's an improper fraction, but also the top and the bottom are both divisible by two. So I'm gonna divide them both by two. So 12 divided by two is six and 10 divided by two is five. So that's our final answer. So that's how you reduce, add and subtract and multiply fractions. And now you should practice them so that you know how to do them for sure.